Did I see her almost destroy all three of us? Then yes. She hesitated, and then blew up the ground where you were standing. Still, one is in there. Somewhere. I know it. No. She is here. Impossible. Close it! Now! What do you think I am trying to do? No more. You were saying, Wanda. You. Your fault. You will be no more. Enough! Not Agatha. Don't say a word, Nico. What would be the point? Nico, I... Don't bother. Kinda just want to be left alone. At least we tried. Save it for a speech. I'm tired. We can talk tomorrow, when you are feeling better. Yeah, right. Might be a while. I will be here. But Wanda won't. Ileana, are you okay? My best friend just tried to murder me. What do you think? Maybe we should consider Wanda is too dangerous to save. How dare you? I am sorry. I just... Leave. Before I say something I will regret. I have too many regrets this evening already. Good night, then. Good? There is nothing good about this night, Hunter. Nothing good at all. Hunter, if you're looking for caretaker, she went to her room. Yeah, and she uh, made it very clear she doesn't want to be disturbed. She's uh, pretty upset. We really screwed up, didn't we? I knew we shouldn't have gone messing with that mirror. I'm worried about Nico and Magic. I think they're in shock or something. We're all in shock. It's going to take some time for us to pull it back together. If we manage to pull ourselves together at all. I'm very, very intimidated by Caretaker. She pushed Wanda right out of the Abbey. Again. Oh, my bad. Between Lilith's plans and her turning our friends to pawns, we can't turn against each other. And here I thought we were finally starting to trust each other. They went behind our backs. Nearly cost us everything. They were trying to save their friend, like any of us would do. Please, I would never do anything that reckless. Do you even hear the words coming out of your mouth anymore? I would never do anything that reckless, given the stakes. Really? Okay, fine. I would never do anything that reckless today. I give that a solid maybe. Whew. You look like hell, dear. I suppose you must feel like it too after these very rough few days. I am not worried about me. I am more concerned with how everyone else is faring. Not well, obviously. I am sorry you were unable to save Wanda. 
But at least you tried. I can't help but feel responsible for how things... played out. Perhaps I pushed you too hard to save her too soon, before you, Nico, and Magic were ready. What happened was not your responsibility. We chose to betray Sarah's trust and put the lives of everyone here in jeopardy. You did not make us. Yes. But if it wasn't for me emboldening you, we may have avoided this whole mess. I cannot get Wanda out of my head now. Seeing her like that... I know I did not know her before she fell, but she was in so much pain. It permeated from her. I could feel it tear right through me. I just wish I could have freed her from it. I know, dear. Me too. Maybe you'll get a chance to again. In the meantime, don't beat yourself up about it too much. And remember how much Sarah and I love you. Good girl, Charlie. It seems there's a competition going on to see who can reprimand the young sons the harshest. Are you participating? I'm really glad everyone made it back safe and sound, which is impressive on its own. Trying an incantation like that at their level. One might think they would ask for a Sorcerer Supreme's guiding hand. What do you expect of them? Every time they have tried to help, they have been rejected. You're right, Hunter. Perhaps the Suns needed this act of valiant sorcery to show us that they are more capable than we thought. It's just that Wanda was my apprentice. I care about her well-being as much as anyone here. I've been hearing her voice, but each time it grows fainter. By the great Agamotto, we'll bring her back to us. Caretaker? It is Hunter. Leave me be. I'm not exactly in the mood for visitors right now. Does not seem right to intrude in their spate. Caretaker? It is Hunter. Damn it, Hunter. I said leave. Caretaker? It is Hunter. Damn it, Hunter. I said leave. I would not like it if they tried that on my room. The mirror table. Our pulse on everything Hydra. Really brings an Avengers Tower vibe to this place. It has been useful. The Abbey always harbored great resources, but Stark and the Doctor have enhanced its abilities tenfold. Don't get me wrong, Tony and the other, Steven, are great. But I believe in giving credit where credit is due. You've also been doing your fair share. And I wanted to let you know that it hasn't gone unnoticed. That is a generous compliment to give. Thank you, Captain. It's not generous when it's true. They say a good soldier should always trust his gut. And if my gut is right, and it's almost always right. I think you have a destiny beyond just defeating Lilith. And what destiny is that? Keep playing it straight with me, Hunter, and maybe I'll trust you enough one day to tell you. Hello, my sweet girl.
No. Why? Because we do not trust you, Strange. Your problem, Magic, is that you don't trust anyone. Why should I? Where were you when Wanda was taken? What have you or any of the other Avengers done to rescue her? I thought we resolved this already. There was nothing any of us could do. No, you resolved it out of your mind. We acted. And had you elicited my help, you might have succeeded. Please. You Avengers would only have gotten in our way. I suppose we'll never know now, will we? And people say Tony's ego's big. Ugh, enough of this. I have to attend to some issues in limbo. Someone has to make sure we have safe passage through space-time. Now who is running from a fight, Ileana? <sighs> I try not to be someone who equates youth with folly. I wish Ileana would not look at someone with a lifetime of experience and assume incompetence. Perhaps there was more I could have done to save Wanda. But until I get back into my sanctum, I cannot see everything I once did. You must stop showing weakness, Doctor. Excuse me, what did you just say? It is not the loss of your prophetic abilities that has lost you trust among your colleagues, but your willingness to let them challenge you. The others, they smell your self-doubt and are treating you accordingly. Enough. I allowed Magic to argue with me because of her relative inexperience. You have no such excuse. Then I will take my leave. Yes, I think that's wise. Well, you know what they say about practice, right? Whoa, save some of that... Practice makes perfect. I think we've got something for everyone. A few of us are meeting up tonight. It's a book club. You're probably busy, but if not, the other said I should invite you. A book club? Yeah. I didn't figure the great and powerful hunter would be into a book club. If it is worth reading, I'm interested. All our books are worth reading. Anyway, I'm headed to the meeting. I doubt it's your thing, but if you're interested, you could tag along. After you. Okay then. I know about as much as you. Blade put this together. He's the person to ask. Blade's giving you the stink eye. Or maybe he doesn't like the punch. Either way, I think he wants to speak with you. Here's how this works. We pick out a book, we read the book, and then next meeting we talk about the book. It's my turn to pick, so give me a minute. I need to narrow it down. What kind of book is a book club book? The good ones, that's the plan at least. What is the best book you have read so far? Uh, none. You have not read any books, but you are starting a book club? Hunter, I've read half the books in the library. I have too many favorites to list. I meant I have no book club favorites yet. You are being evasive, and I do not know why. This is technically our first meeting. Oh, I thought this was a regular thing you did. Yeah, I want it to be. Doesn't matter how sharp your weapons are, if your mind is as dull as a brick. Just give me some space. I need to find the right book if I'm going to... I need to pick the right book, okay? All right. I hope I have time for this. I used to be in one of these with my friend Jess, but it fell apart. What happened? 
I got reassigned, she had a kid, aliens invaded, the usual. Aliens? Yeah, it's been a busy decade. This is the first book club I've been to that didn't devolve into a knockdown, drag out fight. Must have been some book club. A few years back, Bruce and Tony started an Avengers literature circle. First book chosen was Banner's favorite. Tony hated it, said it was the worst poetry he'd ever read, that a mascara blinded lab monkey could have written it better. I still don't know what that means. Turned out, it wasn't Banner's favorite book, it was Hulk's. Oh no. We lost two floors of Avengers Tower before he calmed down. What happened next? Black Widow invoked the this is why we can't have nice things rule and banned book clubs from meeting at the tower. All right, I made my decision. So what is it going to be? The first book we'll read for book club will be The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Ooh, a classic. Yep, that's an old book. Way older than the hunter. Ah, The Art of War. I read that when I was 12. Well, then you could reread it. See if you gain a new perspective. Our time is tight, I get it. But stop by the library and read the book before the next meeting. But I hope you read the whole thing. This book is one of my favorites. The katana gave that away. <laughs> yeah, I'm always around if you want to chat about it. Ah, uh, I'll save it for the next book club. I could chat about it. Uh, nah, I'm good. I think that went well. Carol seemed to enjoy herself. What do you think? Blade, did you start a book club so Carol would join it? No. Yes. Sort of. We were talking about books, and I may have suggested the two of us read a book and talk about it. Captain America overheard and expressed interest. Carol said I was starting a book club, and he asked if he could join. Then what? What was I supposed to do? Say no to Captain America? Say the word, and I will drop out. No, it's fine. I'm kind of digging this. And I'm glad to have a midnight sun here. Glad you came, Hunter. But don't forget to do the reading. All right, I will. I'm not kidding. so late reading the twisted brain drippings of that psycho Faustus this journal is like a love letter to Alistair Crowley the Necronomicon Jack the Ripper and Charles Manson all remixed into some nightmarish open mic poetry I'm going to be up all night trying to make sense of it see if it helps us find our way back into the sanctum you are exhausted Carol get some rest you can crack Faustus's code tomorrow. It's not that I don't appreciate the sentiment, Hunter, but I'll tap out when I'm ready. Besides, if I went to sleep right now, this nightmare juice would be sure to terrorize me with bad dreams. And when I say bad dreams, I don't mean Lovecraftian demons or Cenobites. I mean being stuck at a 12-hour poetry slam in the East Village. You know, real horror. Listen to this crap. Lilith, your name is a black hole for men like me to lose their souls. How I await to be suffocated in your arms, choke on the dark tendrils of your hair. Murder me, goddess, and I will help you murder this dimension. These are just the ramblings of a madman. No rhyme or reason to be found. There must be something helpful here. Well... 
I ought to get back to burning the midnight oil. I got about 400 pages to go of this crap. I'll let you know what I find out. Magic, are you all right? No, Hunter, I am not. And neither is Limbo. The dark energy is increasing. This danger you feel, have you given more thought to what could be causing it? Yes, but I do not want to say it out loud. It is all right to fear, Magic. I am not afraid, Hunter. It's just... Once I say his name, he becomes real again. Words have power. I do not want to give him any more than he already has. He? If I am right, you will see soon enough. But tonight, that's all I can say. Yeah. Nico, what are you doing in Wanda's room? What does it look like? Ileana said this grimoire is filled with pretty powerful magic. There's gotta be something in here. Something to break the stupid spell your mother cast over Wanda so, you know, we can all go back to being normal. To being friends again. Blood Witch, Daywalker, Spirit of Vengeance, former Queen of Limbo, and the Child of Lilith. I doubt anyone would ever accuse the Midnight Suns of being normal. Being normal sounds terribly... Uh, what do you call it? Oh, yes. Lame. If you're trying to make a joke, Hunter, you're failing. My best friend tried to kill me last night, so excuse me if I'm not in a ha-ha kind of mood. It all made sense in my head. We'd find Wanda, smack around a few Hydra dirt bags, bring her back to the Abbey, and Caretaker would bake her a cake. I wasn't exactly envisioning Wanda trying to murder us. Or you trying to do the same thing to her. Perhaps next time we should formulate an actual plan. One that does not involve Blade or Robbie. <laughs> Tell me about it. Wait, did you just say next time? I do not give up easily. Neither do I. How about this? I'll keep digging through these pages if you promise not to release our friend anytime soon. Deal. Good, because I'm gonna hold you to that. Well, unless you have anything to add to this free Wanda brainstorming sesh, I should get back to her grimoire. I'm not leaving one page unturned until I find a way of bringing her back to her senses. Till then, later. What in the... This crap just keeps getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> you know, I think Faustus might have been the Zodiac Killer. Nico, Magic, how are they? Any progress on the journal? If by progress you mean genetic experimentation recipes, demonic incantations, and what Strange here thinks is some sort of, wait for it, Lilith fanfiction Faustus wrote in a 10,000 year old dead language. Ancient Atlantean. Then sure, tons. I actually speak a little Atlantean. Tio mile oth ep isith? But. I did find this. A hole? We think it's a shipping facility. Or smuggling. Faustus may have been a demented loon, but the man kept some pretty detailed records. Possibly for stealing. From me. Via the hole. Let me guess. That's why I'm here. Well, given the nocturnal and clandestine nature of this operation, as well as your experience in dealing with subterranean affairs? I'll bet. Ever wonder why you people only come to me for the dirty work? Because you are a vampire? 
You sleep in the actual dirt? Or a coffin? I mean, there's sort of a point buried in there. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> Let's go. sound like a diva, but just once, I would like a mission on a tropical beach. Checking out a big dark hole in the ground does not excite me. Been there before. Zero wears off when you think. Combing through Faustus's twisted ramblings wasn't the easiest job in the world, but Captain Marvel did manage to find a spot of particular interest to the late Doctor. Judging by the Hydra activity we picked up in the area, I'd say she's on to something. Carol never fails to impress. Must be a way to smuggle ourselves inside. Let me guess. Stealth not your style? I'm a vampire, remember? We invented stealth. Show no mercy. We can definitely handle that. They're not living up to their reputation. I stand with the mother. If you're done showing off, why don't we move on Hydra and put an end to their artifact smuggling operation for good? No problem. Welcome, assistants. This is a serious predicament for you. I'm going for it! Nothing personal, but I think you're out of your league here. Looks like it's up to me. This one's for you. Looks like 
they have got help. Hydra has always sought power from the occult, but this feels different. It's one thing to steal artifacts, but this entire setup feels like distribution center. But distribution to where? If my mother is involved, nowhere good. Then I'm betting it somehow involves Banner. That's your strength. Hydra's operations in this city are staggering, especially considering the number of heroes that take up residence here. The greatest lie the devil ever told was convincing the world he didn't exist. Requesting medevac! Weak, even for Hydra. on that. You'll feel better. Let us see if they have an answer for this. Faustus was killed so that we would never find this place. Crossbones was looking for any excuse to put that in. We just came to get up. Either way, whatever's down that hole is clearly worth killing to protect. I suggest we get down there while we can. We've done it. Excellent work. I think it goes down. Better 
better not be a fire dragoon layer.